Was there a lot of pressure being um, for uh, Trista's boyfriend, knowing that Ansel and Miles were on set and have both previously p played a partner of Shailene's? No, we had regular foursomes. <laughs> hey! Yeah, we did, we did. To this day, we still have them. Now we're branching out into six and sevensomes. Okay. Um, but no, no, it's fun. I think it's great. It was a constant joke, though. But... Oh, yeah, it was. It was yeah. raised quite a few times. Okay, yeah. cool. Uh, what did you learn about the young adult audience? Because the series are a YA uh, novel. Yeah. And obviously, now that the movies are out, there's a, they're very communicative. They're very, they talk a lot about their thoughts. Right. What are some of the things that you've learnt from the YA demographic? About these movies or generally? Uh, yeah, what, yeah uh, their take on it all. I, I nothing. <laughs> you haven't learned anything. Well, I, not, not that I would learn a thing necessarily, but I haven't. Um, other than uh, kind of interacting with fans for press and stuff, um, I guess you know it's not like I, I would look anything up because it, it's you know I, I think once you decide to d to kind of play a character, then you kind of have to decide that the decisions you make are your own, if you know what I mean. So. Um, I, th I think hopefully they were generally happily happy. Have they latched onto something in particular? Like the ship, the shipping ship? What's the shipping? This is what the young kids are calling relationships these days. Oh, is it? Ship. Ship. I ship you not, yeah. I ship you not, no. I feel like a 45 year old man. Um, uh, no, <laughs> shipping, shipping, no, and tell me about shipping. Well, this is the, That's the, the hip name, is it? That's the, the trendy. Ship between uh, Tris and Four. Oh, the ship between Tris and Four, and right. you ship the ship, which means you worship their relationship. Uh, you ship the ship. That is crazy. I don't make this up. Damn. Yeah. Hey, you're quite busy at the moment. Let's talk about the other projects you're working on, because your IMDb is like after Insurgent. Yeah, I just finished something last week, actually. I was in um, Ireland, which is kind of fun. Yeah. Um, doing a Jim Sheridan movie. It's like based on a book called Sebastian Barry, uh, by Sebastian Barry. <laughs> it's not called Sebastian Barry. Um, what about you? Tell me about you. What, what have you been doing recently? Where are you based? Are you based here? Or? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. I am based here. Nice, nice. Uh, this movie, though, do you kind of get a little bit um, nervous basing a character, like having a character that is already written, um, and do you think it's important to kind of inject your own essence of who you are into the character? Yeah, I think inevitably that happens uh, with anything because, you know, as much as you can shed yourself, I think it's virtually impossible to shed everything. So, so part of your natural being, like anything, comes into the character. Um, and I think it's but I think it's important to kind of use the elements of yourself that you uh, empathise with the character you see, and then kind of throw away the bits that feel strange. Mm -hmm. But it but it is kind of a funny process because sometimes when you live a character for a long time, I mean it differs with varying you know people, but I find that you kind of end up being that person in a strange way, and then when you finish, you kind of have to shake them off. And last question while I'm getting wrapped up: Are you ready for Allegiant? Yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> Two more movies? I know, no, crazy. <laughs> Thanks so much. <laughs> hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.